Hello, I'm Mark Wilson, President and CEO of the Florida Chamber of Commerce. When it comes to securing Florida's future, there are few issues more important than water. With six million more people expected to call Florida home by 2030, science-based solutions are the only way to ensure Florida's water future is sustainable and provides the quality of life Floridians and our visitors deserve. Water is a statewide concern, and unfortunately, sometimes local and state politicians want to do what's popular when what we actually need is to do what the science tells us. Whether it's the Apalachicola River, the Indian River Lagoon, Florida's unique springs, or our treasured Everglades, science-based data is the key to meeting the challenges Florida faces. So together with Harbor Branch research scientist, Dr. Brian LaPointe, the Florida Chamber of Commerce is pleased to present this educational video, and we hope it will spur conversations and collective action to help solve these issues. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian LaPointe, research professor with Florida Atlantic University's Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute. I've spent my career studying water quality throughout the state of Florida. This educational collaboration with the Florida Chamber aims to shed light on the high water levels and algal blooms that followed unusually heavy rainfall in the winter and spring of 2016. The video addresses discharges from the Kissimmee River and other tributaries north of the lake and the science-based solutions that policymakers are considering to mitigate these problems in the future. <laughs> Lake Okeechobee, day in, day out, winter, spring, summer, fall, it doesn't matter, is producing fantastic fish. And people come to this lake just to fish Lake Okeechobee. It's the best lake in the country, and we need to protect it, and we need to do everything we can to protect this part of Florida, because I promise you, it's a magnet to get millions of people to the state. This is the Mecca of bass fishing. Uh, everybody in the world wants to come here. This is where everybody wants to come. And a good reason for, uh, they want to come is because we have a lake full of giant bass. Uh, lake Okeechobee on a world scale, I'm sure that it's, it may be at number one certain years and other times, but it may be number four, but it's always in the top ten. You can just about always count on Lake Okeechobee being great because I said it's a tremendous lake. Ninety-five percent of the water getting to Lake Okeechobee, more than ninety-five percent, comes from north of the lake. All that water contains nutrients, naturally and sometimes in excess. And then, if the lake gets too full, it needs to be discharged to the estuaries. One thing that happened last year in 2016 is we had that El Nino winter, and we had a whole lot of rain in January and February, and a whole lot of water flowed into the lake. And what that did was it carried a whole lot of nutrients, phosphorus especially. And so when the summer came, when it got hot, when the conditions got good for algae, we just fertilized the lake with just tons and tons of water from the watershed. And so that's when the bloom exploded. Uh, when the lake rises too fast, uh, it uh, causes some concern about the integrity of the Herbert Hoover Dyke, causing the Army Corps of Engineers to have to dump water out because they're fearful of there's over 40,000 lives at stake. If the dam were to fail at the wrong place, it could be catastrophic loss of life and property. And we have a lot of research and a lot of science up here and we've been messing with this for a long time and so we really do know how to fix these problems we just gotta come together as a society and say this is a priority we don't want a green lake we don't want international headlines for how terrible this is there'll be incredible benefits to the uh, we're already seeing them but there'll be even more benefits to lake okeechobee uh, and the estuaries because that water that is now rapidly flowing into the lake uh, is now going to spread out across the landscape and those biological processes where the plants will soak up nutrients and actually help the water quality downstream and the volumes of water so the lake won't rise quite as fast. I continue to meet people from all over the world that have put Lake Okeechobee on their bucket list. We have people from China, Japan, Africa, Spain. Bass fishing is zooming over there but this is still the best place.